Hello, this is the Lord's Legion, and welcome to a very delayed edition of The Best Villains Ever. The show where I talk about a personal favourite villain of mine, and talk about the backstories, abilities, the greatest feats, and why I love them so much. Now this episode is meant to be a Guardians of the Galaxy special, however I have a ton of work to do when it comes down to college, and also my mic was fucked up for a few days. So to celebrate the release of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, I will be talking about one of Marvel's most powerful and dangerous cosmic villains, which is of course Annihilus. Now the backstory for Annihilus is rather straightforward, as long ago in the negative zone, there was a group of alien species known as the Tyannans, and what they were essentially doing was seeding life spores across other planets as part of experiments and evolution. However, the Tyannan starships got hit by a meteor and ultimately landed onto a volcanic planet. And before the Tyannans eventually died, they decided to see the very last of the life spores. However, many years later, it turns out that one of the spores has ultimately evolved into an insect-like creature. And due to this mutation that the spore has witnessed, it ultimately gained high intelligence. Now, as this creature was still stranded on the planet Arthros, the creature stumbled across one of the Tyannan starships. And as it went inside one of the starships, the creature used a special helmet in which transferred all of the information in relation to the advanced Tyannan technology. The creature decided to use some of that technology in order to enhance his body and ultimately become a more powerful being. And this creature eventually discovered an object known as the Cosmic Control Rod, which enhances his abilities even further. And with its new abilities, the creature decided to go by the name Annihilus, and ultimately ruled the Negative Zone with an iron fist. Now the Negative Zone is essentially an antimatter universe that breaks the laws of physics. And although Annihilus does rule the Negative Zone, this isn't enough for this guy as he wants to rule everything. And not only that, Annihilus also wants to become the most powerful being in the universe and ultimately stay alive. But as time goes by, there are plenty of powerful entities, and Annihilus wants to be the top of them all, so he decides to attempt on exterminating all life across the universe. Now what makes Annihilus an interesting villain is the fact that everything he does is just as a means to an end for him, as he just wants to survive for as long as possible. But not only that, Annihilus is quite possibly one of the most paranoid characters in Marvel Comics. And that makes Annihilus all the more dangerous as he is very reluctant to do alliances unless he has a contingency plan to backstab his opponents. Now as I mentioned earlier, Annihilus does possess the Cosmic Control Rod, in which makes him extremely powerful. But even without the Cosmic Control Rod, Annihilus is still pretty powerful. As Annihilus has superhuman strength, speed, durability, stamina, reflexes, agility, enhanced intellect, flight, teleport, immortality, fear broadcasting, and he is even adaptable. And whilst Annihilus does possess the Cosmic Control Rod, he also gains additional abilities, which mostly stems from Annihilus channeling cosmic energy, and the energy that Annihilus can control is not the power cosmic, in case anyone is wondering. And with the Cosmic Control Rod, Annihilus has the additional abilities of Energy Blasts, Energy Manipulation, Energy Shields, Telekinesis, Telepathy, and even Matter Manipulation. And in some cases, Annihilus could even summon the Annihilation Wave, which are a swarm of insect-like creatures. Now over the years, Annihilus has achieved a lot of great feats. For starters, Annihilus is capable of shattering force fields from Krazar. And he is also capable of shattering force fields from the Invisible Woman. Annihilus has also demonstrated his strength by knocking out the Thing on multiple occasions, and on a few occasions, Annihilus is even capable of almost knocking out Thor, although he has taken out other Thor-like characters such as Chain Foster and Thunderstorm. Annihilus has also beaten and almost murdered Gladiator, who is one of the many Marvel equivalents of Superman. And even his power level seems to be around the same level as Thanos. Even while Annihilus was at a younger, more weakened state, he was still capable of deflecting beams of light. Annihilus has also been shown to be able to smash through Annihilation Wave spaceships. At one point, Annihilus has been shown to fly away from the battlefield and travel to his spaceship. 
in order to get the cosmic control rod only to come back seconds later. And he is even capable of speed blitzing an entire group of Avengers. Plus Annihilus' reflexes are incredibly fast, he has the ability of countering an attack coming from the Human Torch. And while in flight, Annihilus has shown to be capable of being faster than even Mjolnir. Annihilus has also been shown to be immune to hex spheres, although this was at a time when Scarlet Witch wasn't experienced with her powers, and wasn't aware with her full potential. Annihilus' armor is that durable that whenever the Thing punches him, it actually does harm the Thing's rocky fists. And Annihilus has also been shown to be immune to the Human Torch's flames. And at one point, Annihilus was blasted by Blastar at point blank, only to just taunt on how weak his lasers really are. He has also taken blows from Mjolnir on multiple occasions, took a punch in the face from the Hulk, and continued to fight head on, was able to assist a full blown assault with the Nova Corps as well as Quasar, at the same time, survived blows from even Thanos, not to mention powerful enough to withstand against Thanos' telepathy, plus his energy blast from the Cosmic Control Rod is that powerful he could easily vaporize an entire group of aliens, can actually harm Blastar who is around the same power level as Annihilus himself, made it an Asgardian by electrocuting him through his own sword, manipulated some energy from dead Asgardians in order to make himself even more powerful, and to top it all off, Annihilus is capable of absorbing some energy through Odin. Now because of how Annihilus has been very underused when it comes down to Marvel Comics, Annihilus hasn't really made other appearances outside of the comic books. But one of the versions of Annihilus that is worthy of note is of course the one that appeared in the 2005's Fantastic Four cartoon, where Annihilus resembled more of a space demon. And from what I could remember about this version of Annihilus, he was a pretty interesting take. Plus Annihilus has made it onto an episode of Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. And although he only made one appearance, Annihilus was very memorable purely because of his kill count alone, as he probably killed the most characters in a single episode. And Annihilus has also made other appearances in Hulk and the Agents of Smash as well as Ultimate Spider-Man. And when it comes down to these cartoons, Annihilus is always treated as one of these Films of the Week type characters. Now the main reason as to why I wanted to make an episode on Annihilus in the first place is purely because he is one of Marvel's most underrated films of all time. And it's such a shame as well because Annihilus is a very deadly opponent, especially when it comes down to the cosmic side of Marvel. And Annihilus is so powerful that he is up there with Thanos as one of the most powerful villains in the cosmos. But not only that though, Annihilus was the main villain in the very important storyline which is of course Annihilation. And Annihilation was the storyline that brought back the Marvel cosmos to the spotlight. And if it weren't for Annihilus then we wouldn't have the modern incarnation of the Guardians of the Galaxy. So because of his impact on the Marvel comics, as well as being a very dangerous threat, and having interest and motivations such as avoiding death and trying to be the most powerful being in the universe, this is why I feel like Annihilus is one of the best villains of all time. So are you a fan of Annihilus and do you feel like he deserves more respect? Comment below and share some thoughts. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, take care and have a good one.